Bernard Zoe. Back up. Back up. You're not allowed in the studio. Back up. Reverse. Good girl. Okay, guys. What is up? Today is a new day. Hope you guys are having a great day at work. George Goals. Be a production. Absolutely. Friggin' crushing it. Okay, carrying on from the last video, on July 11th, Ryan and I started to take up the carpet in Ben's old studio. I didn't put the letter in that one. Just pulling all of these these blocks off of the floor. That Ben's entire room has these underneath of them, so we'll be here a while. These are the, the crappy ones, so every time you, you pick it up, the, half the letters fall out, and you gotta put them back in, and they don't wanna stay. There's some thicker ones over here. They're the nice ones. No, 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 no! Six and a half hours later. It's just about time to take this wall down, but there's all kinds of stuff on the other side of the wall that needs to come down so that the studs can come down. But I did build it with screws, so we will be able to reuse those. This looks very weird. It does. What are you doing jerking a sock <laughs> off? No, I'm Pokemon Go. Look. Okay? I just don't understand why. why? I got a poncho. And it's always hard to put these damn things on, man. Have you ever put a poncho on? I probably don't think. Yeah, it seems about right. The wind switch sideways on this ceiling. What else am I supposed to do? Of course I put it sideways on the ceiling. There's not going to be a stud to mount it to. And now I got her backtrack because this room all used to be one set of lights and now it's, it's two because... Ben had his studio on this side of the door, and and I gave him his own light switch. So, so now this side of the room turns off. Well, that side of the room's still on, and then they turn that side of the room off. Well, this side of the room's still on, but it's kind of useless because it, you know, that's kind of look at Ryan. He's kind of spooky back there. How I unconfigurated the, I don't know how I swapped the light switch. Tomorrow. And we're back at the next day, guys. 12.49, holy, okay, well, we got our uh, our little knee wall being built right here. I got the top on it, it's all glued down and nice and solid. And I think the idea is to move the Lego tier and build like a little curio cabinet type thing and maybe even put glass on it as a DIY video, like how to make a display. That way, this just doesn't get ruined. It gets put here and it gets, it's it, you know, it gets properly displayed and then, you know, it, it looks really cool. I get to make a video, I get to build the cabinet and then, you know, have the display stuff maybe even store a little bit of stuff on top of it uh, that'll be an interesting build uh, but right now we're going to cut the rest of the plywood to just cover that completely and uh, what we're doing we might just clean this up and uh, get started on our next project we're making we're painting up beer pong tables like the the TikToks and the YouTube videos but we're gonna do ours twice as good as everybody else <laughs> a door anymore since all of this is one studio. The lathe, the, the metal lathe, the metal table is over there. The lighting still isn't so great in here because it's just got the lights that Ben had up. I was gonna put the slim pot lights. Uh, they were a different color temperature though, so I might just order new ones and just... But anyways, this table's gotta go there with the fucking alphabet. <laughs> All right, this vapor barrier up from this wall, we're just gonna hang it up in front of the Lego. Overspray ruins things, especially. Ben left it there because it's awesome and I told him you should leave it there. 
we're gonna take care of it. Lord. Yeah, that's the one. There it is, it's nice and safe from overspray. Obviously, the, there's still air that can come here, but that's, I, I'm almost certain there isn't gonna be much of an issue of that. That, and it'll also keep the overspray off of my mirror, even though I'm sure there's probably overspray on that from, from other projects that I've done in the basement. Without further ado, we're gonna get our tables out and get all of our paint and everything, and then make a little DIY intro, and then get to town. Work to go, go to t work on town. We're going down. <laughs> so, yeah, I appreciate your curiosity, but could you please uh, stay on the other side of the red line? Thank you. Where's the red line? Right, imaginary. What are you doing? Get your table together. You gotta, you gotta paddle lock it. Thanks, man. No problem. There we go. Yeah, see, your table only has, it just comes down and, and that thing goes over top of it. Whereas mine, it's got that thing that goes over top, but it's also got this extra fancy thing because it's so friggin' long. There you go. There's Ryan's ping pong table. And here's my ping pong table. Beer pong, get it right. Sorry, beer pong table. It'll, it'll flex down over time as fat people sit on it. Larger people. We got two tables and we're gonna paint them both. We've already used this table once, so it's gotta get clean. We're gonna sand them both. He'll design however he wants to do this, and then I'll design however I want this. Then we'll probably both paint both, but we've got a bunch of paints. Oh, good dog. Yes, you sat with your tail on the other side of the red line. You always do that. I say, sit down, get out, and you lay in the door threshold. Just, yeah, you do, freaking turd. Yeah, you do. So here's our goodies. Got a whole box of it. Little paint trays, a bunch of little foam foam brushes for that. Primer for it. This is like the best painter's tape you can get. Trem Clad Clear, the oil based uh, clear coat, super strong. Use it for all kinds of stuff. I bought all of these colors right here, and they are all in here as individual sample cans. Is a, a half pint of paint, three bucks for this much paint. Whereas you could get the little tiny acrylic ones from say the dollar store or Michaels and. I don't think that's that's nowhere near a half pint. And these, I got these colors picked, whatever colors I want. It'd be awesome. What is up, all you do yourselfers? My name's Slam Jedi. Cam Squanch. Cam Squanch. Cam Squanch. Cam Squanch. Ryan Squanch. Doug Squanch. We got all our paint for our beer pong table, and he's they're already drinking. What? It's a Red Bull. Red Bull gives you wings. Yeah. Red Bull and, and vodka is not good for you. I don't do vodka. Yeah. What are you fucking talking <laughs> about? Either. We don't drink. <laughs> Leave the dog alone. He's afraid of rooms. Uh. Uh. I think the helmet fits white. It's backwards. Okay. Little hat, you got a big hat. Uh oh. Are we supposed to be doing this in a ventilated room? There's a fly on my finger. No. So we have the studio, uh, the extra long studio. We've replaced all the lights with bright 5K light bulb. No other way to go when you're filming and making things because you need to be able to see the colors of the shit that you're making as if it were in daylight. We go into this room over here and uh, you've seen this door before, you've seen this room, you've seen maybe the projector that we've had over there. Always been quite a disaster just because this is all of my stuff that we just moved in here. So we got an unfinished basement, so that already doesn't look too nice, right? Then we have all of the stuff. This is all my stuff right here. Uh, that's the carpet that we just pulled out of there. But all my stuff right here that I haven't found a place for yet, just because I'm trying to organize it yeah, yeah, organized for. So, anyways, this is uh what we're tackling today is this room because it's eventually gonna be the the hangout room for everybody. Put some drywall up and some walls, stuff for the projector over there, and something over here possibly, and lights and drywall the ceiling and da 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 da. It's better than a hooker hanging from my ceiling. <laughs>
got my notebook writing stuff down, and we are in the new half of the studio uh, that uh, we have acquired from Benny Boy. Uh, I got Tyson's table, Ryan's table, my table, lathe, and then the studio with a whole load of stuff that used to be over there. Like, and this room is a lot more open now. There isn't a bunch of junk there. The whole rooms over there, one room there and one room behind that side of the concrete wall that are storage. It, it's a mess, so we're gonna pull all that out, build proper shelving units that'll fit totes and boxes. That'll all go back in there. A lot of this will end up there or there or something, and then we'll we'll get to all of this, and um, yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. There will be another video coming in the very near future. I really do appreciate you guys sticking around with me and watching these videos. So thank you guys so much for that. I want to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, and a special thank you to the top tier Patreon supporters, Randy and Mike Maxwell. You guys are awesome. That is going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.